So your mimic is plus two. That's a good point. I didn't, I haven't leveled it up. Honestly, that's a great point in general. I need to just go level, now that I got more somber stones, I think I need to go and see if I can level up weapons in general. It's probably worse than the plus. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I forgot about that dynamic too. Where do we go? You go boom. There's like a quicker way. There you go. I, I honestly would love to know how many deaths I have on that fight alone. Honestly, the fight that probably took me the longest clipper was this one. Because when I first, like, so you get to the round table, I don't know how, like, if something needs to be done first. But whenever I first got here, so I'm maybe only, like, and I didn't actually go here as early as the game let me. I kind of didn't, I didn't, like, fully, I, I was basically just, like, too busy enjoying the open world or whatever, right? Anyways, I'm, like, maybe 24, level 20-ish, 20 24 when I get here, and I just go, you know, Kawabunga, and I jump in, and you know there's like a fight with one of those like sorcerer dudes. And at the time I had 13,000 runes. So when I died, that felt like a lifetime supply of runes. So basically I just kept throwing myself at the fight, even though I was under level, because I didn't want to lose the 13,000 runes. And then eventually I beat him, and it was one of the most like, like one of the more satisfying moments I think I've ever had in any. Oh, it costs runes. Man, it'd be nice to have those 90k back, huh? Stay out of your arms, then. This dude is the real MVP of the game, I think. Broke. Though those runes were crucial. We gotta go get rune farming. Yeah, I'm poor. Yeah, right before you joined stream, I accidentally I fell to my death in the one of the um like the divine towers, this one. You might remember you eventually put like a, a little statue on a pedestal that flips the whole place over. Um, and I fell to my death and I lost 90,000 runes. It was sad. And you might be like, well, if you fell to your death and not in like a tough enemy part, why don't you just get the runes back when you respawn? Would, that's a good question. It's a good question. Uh, your boy forgot. And then I went down an elevator that wouldn't take me back up. And yeah, it was, it was no good. Okay, I guess I need to go get runes, huh? Yeah, that side eye, exactly. I don't remember what all these people do. I think this dude eventually gets pissed at me and wants to fight me. What is it? I might have to off stream look up with some of these stuff. I don't love to look up stuff, but there's so many vendors and whatnot. Like, who is this? Oh, that's right. These are for like, if you kill somebody, I think you can buy the stuff that you would get from them. I don't remember. This game is trippy. It is so deep. And was there's a guy named Dung Eater. I think I eventually killed him. Dung Eater was chilling here for a while. And then eventually you fight him or, or you meet him up like here-ish. I got a nuts memory. Man, I'm a broke lad. I guess I just need to go kill some stuff and farm some booty. Oops, I didn't mean to throw a sleep bomb at him. I'm trying to remember, how do you do... Uh, like, go two-handed. Nope, not what we wanted. There's a way, like, if I want to go double claw. Nope. Nope. There goes all my sleep bombs. All my roofies. I just used them. Triangle. Ah. Thank you. I was close. I was holding the triangle, but then I was pushing right on the D-pad. Thank you. I love the Wolverine claws, man. They're so dope. What were some of the weapons, if you remember them, that you main? Ow!
See, one thing I like, another thing I tried to do as part of like my OCD completionist purist is anytime I'd come to an area like this, right? I would try to beat every single mob at least once. And then ideally I, I would do it all in one like run, right? So like, let's say it's the first time I'm going to a POI and I kill 20 of the 40 or whatever, and then I die. When I'd run it back, I would try, I would kill the 20 that I did and then try to boom, boom, boom. And uh, eventually try to hit it. Once I did that once, I would then be like, okay, that's the completionist satisfied. I've done it. And then at that point, I'd have no problem running past them if I needed to come back through here. You know what I mean? I wouldn't feel like, like I needed to just kill them. Oh, no. And then the other thing is I definitely wouldn't mind doing my summons at that point. I went mostly dual katana through most of the game and the lion great bowl, great bow. Uh, what katanas was one of them? What's it called? Like the moon blade or something? Oh, dude, he's going to aggro them. I'm not ready to fight yet. No, he just aggroed them. Oh, I got the big, big Bertha. Big Bertha. Yo, that summon, though, is sick. Oh, the flame of voodoo. Some blood katana and then frost fight on the other one. Dude, my summon aggroed him too soon. Moon Bell is great. I think that's what I'm using right now for a lot of it until I got the blood. My, I'm still holding on. Up one nil, but down a man. Oh no, what do I have here? What is this weapon called? Uh, oh no, I, I rocked the Sword of St. Trina. I did use the Moon Veil for a while, but that was another one that I had started to hear that is really good. Um, yeah, Moon Veil. I also like this one, the Meteoric or blade. I mean, between the ashes of war, not only the ones that come native to some weapons like this having gravitas, but then you also get the other ones that you can attach onto weapons. Just so sick. What does Moonbell do again? Oh, the transient moonlight. That's the one where you throw like a, like a, fucking energy dagger like a it goes across like gambit throwing cards but a big one like a blade right a wave of there you go thank you holding on but barely breathing uh, <laughs> uh i use the void mace i don't think i've unlocked that uh did you get the dlc by the way oh darwin nunez holding on but i'm barely breathing who's that is that gavin DeGraw? And we dun, dun, that we don't believe in. Nailed it. Definitely the words. Oh, I'm about to bash him with my staff. That's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. The, and there's so many cool things that this game does brilliantly. Earlier I was saying this. I don't think you were here yet, Clipper. But like one example, I love me Elder Scrolls and or um like uh, Fallout. Right? I love Elder Scrolls. I love Starfield even. But this game is so nice that you can just carry everything you want. You can literally carry all the armor. You don't have to put them in storage chests and it doesn't count to your like being over encumbered. It only counts what you have equipped. And that's just like so nice. Not only from like a convenience, not having to go back to a storage chest, but also it lets you um, experiment with builds easier. Another cool thing, you know, a lot of games where you pick your build and you pick your stats and stuff like that, right? Like, let's say you're not strong enough to use a certain weapon in a certain game. In a lot of games, that that's that. Um, like, if, if you don't have high enough strength, you just quite simply can't use that weapon. Like, they won't even let you equip it, right? Um... <clears throat> this game, it does. Like, I could have zero strength and the weapon requires 20. I can still equip it. I can still even use it. You just get a lot of penalties in terms of, like, damage output, uh, stamina, uh, stamina recovery, all that. So it's just, like, little things like that where it's like, we're not going to say you can't equip it, 
we're just saying you might be inefficient as fuck and you might want to not do that but you know um the script i don't know actually you got to know that that's our like our go-to karaoke song isn't it is it not Dina? yeah i think i'm only didn't get the dlc i didn't get it yet either uh i even though i had already gotten to where i beat the boss that you need to mog i think it is but two years i don't have the patience to relearn the timing true that's why i'm kind of like the when i have played this i've just kind of tried to slowly get back into it refight things i've already fought kind of get used to it i say that and i've already beat one of the god skin bosses tonight earlier and i've tried that uh, what's his name? The Commander Neil a few times. This perfumer is pretty good too. I think it can heal you, right? Uh, when ever watching over them to ensure that they can pass peacefully. Never mind, maybe not. Some of them are expensive though. Like they take a lot of your magic. Speaking of magic, I gotta make sure I get my runes. Stop! Stop! Don't do it! I forgot about the guy over there lurking. It, that, it's the script? Wow. Are, is that, are they one-hit wonders, or am I forgetting another gem? And you barely believe, uh, believe it. I'm about to punch my desk, but I'm a very happy creed. Gonna punch my desk. And I'm giving you the Creed Seed. Yeah, this this game is tough. Speaking of booty hole, look at this. Look at them. They were frozen face down ass up. That's not how you want to go out. I get, well, maybe for some. Oh, Columbia with a chance to go two up. Oh, no, that would have sealed it for show, seemingly. The Columbia's been so good. I think they beat Argentina. Although, the match is in Miami. Conspiracy theory. Wait. Ooh. I don't know if Hoktua is on that store, is it? Oh, dude, you know what I just thought of? You know who's going to have a hard time this year is um, uh, Tua Tagovailoa for the Miami Dolphins. He, there's going to be all kinds of, like, Hawk Tua signs to, like, make fun of them. To, like, they're going to put his face over the girls. If the Steelers were playing the Dolphins, I certainly would do that. There it is. Why are they so hard? Ooh, fuck them up. Dude, the big fat one is not my friend. Ow. Oh. Oh no, he's gonna, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm stuck in the wood. Get me out of here. Ooh, my ancient dragon knight, Kristoff, falling. I'm gonna accidentally backward barrel roll into another pack of enemies and I'm gonna be peace. Bro, please stop. Oh, she's summoning the blood. They're trying to blood suck me. I imagine a lot of his jersey numbers with his last name Hawk. Ooh, that's another good one. It's, dude, imagine he was still in college too, the college game day sign when like Alabama goes on the road to LSU or whatever. Dude, get out of here. No way you're not dead. Stab him good. Hi. Thank you, man, he just stole my kill. No, I'm just kidding, finally. All right, now we got a little bread. We can go and upgrade some stuff here in a second. Ooh, I'm, I don't know if I've ever been up here.
Guards Garrison. Nope. That's a new little icon on my map. Oh, puppy dog. Dude, this ancient dragon knight is balling for your boy. Oh, did you ever answer me earlier, Dinak? Well, what uh, like site or whatever app do you use for your betting? I've never been a sports gambler other than fantasy football, really. But last fall, I did dabble, but I did it wrong, basically. Like, you know how there's two forms of DraftKings, right? There's the one where you download DraftKings and you're essentially doing fantasy football kind of lineup. Dude, that rat was just chilling there. You do like fantasy football or like fantasy lineups, but they're like just for that day, right? You boom, you pick the players just playing that day and they're short term fantasy. That's the one that I actually, I downloaded. What I had meant to download was the one where you like pick, where you're like, oh, I think this receiver is gonna get more than five catches or less than five catches. So basically I installed it it was basically just a short-term fantasy football. And remember earlier, we talked about whittling down our fantasy lineups and stuff. So once I realized it was like that, I kind of stopped doing it. But this upcoming fall, I'm going to try the the other one. The one where it's like you're picking overs and unders and stuff. It's the fantasy lineups. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Decent chance for Uruguay there. I like how long my summon's been able to stay alive. Or not really stay yeah, stay alive, but also how long he's been eligible to stay out, I should say. Oh, if I would have died lazily there, I would have been so sad. Ooh, it's the giraffe Pokemon. I don't think I have him. I also don't think I'm going to be able to get the command in in time. Oh, what is happening? Oh, that's my companion. I was like, dude, where's the lightning coming from? Okay, so as many know, they call me Parkour Poppy. But I don't really see where I parkour this time. Scholars the world over have called me that. Oh, what footwork. You got him in the middle. Columbia. Oh, what a save. What a save. It might not matter in the end, but what a save. Columbia fans are like, dude, how have we not put this game to bed? They've had two glorious chances just in the last 10 minutes. That was a phenomenal chance. What a save. Almost point blank range off the wrist onto the crossbar. Ooh, parkour poppy. Never mind. Maybe that's all there is to get in here. Surely not, right? Laverne and Shirley. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, we got another face down ass up. Oh, my God. <laughs> my summon just... Oh, I just pooped myself. Summertime when the living's easy. I just pooped myself for free. Dude, what a save. Um, Great positioning. Dude. That poop, that was not cool. What's he doing sneaking up on me like that? Chief 
Guardian Arga Arganthi. Oh, he's getting fucked up. He's got a cool shield. Kind of. He also, oh my god. Okay, I think what he just used against me is the perfumes. But he just went. <laughs> if you've seen the movie This Is The End, you know when Michael Sarah blows the cocaine in their face? Like, you know? That's what I felt like I got done, but it wasn't cocaine. It was not. It was flames, and he just fucked. No way I spawned all the way down here. See, this is where I mean that I'm cool with skipping past them. Because I've already beaten them all once. What song was that? Should we add to the... Uh, the... Oh, the jump scare one? The summertime and the living's easy. Oh, we need to get in here. No, do not. Do not. I have rooms for sale. We're running past all of you. Yeah, the ending of this match has been nuts. That Uruguay is sending their uh, goalie, or keeper forward. Oh, I hit him with the jukes. Let me up. Oh, that might be it. Uh, Liverpool have two players in this match. like So I, I would cool with either one winning. We have um, Luis Diaz, number seven for Colombia. And Darwin Nunez who is typically number nine for Uruguay, but one of the legendary Uruguayans, Luis Suarez, who is, he was number nine. He's, he got like, he, okay. So he's at the point of his career where he doesn't play for the national team a lot, but he did join them for this tournament. So Darwin basically let the legend have his normal number nine. And then he's gonna use 19 right now. Dude, huge. So Argentina and Colombia, again, this match, the final is in Miami. So tinfoil hat, it's gonna be very tough for Colombia. Ooh, we're already up to 28,000. My man triple blue flames on me. Like I was uh, a rapper getting a blow job at SoFi Stadium. Oh, never mind. His name's Blueface. Damn it. That would have been a fire. Fire reference if I got it actually right. Stop it. I just summoned a big ball and I chunk it at you. No. Oh, my camera. I'm stuck on the dead lady. Oh, now I'm stuck on a bit, dude. Ah, caramba, calicia, wa. Dude, much like a widow, I got stuck on a dead wife and then a bench. Hmm. <sighs> Also need to wait until I get to the top before I summon my homie. Ooh, Suarez and uh, James Rodriguez embrace. Dude, and the thing about the bench is, as we know, you can easily barrel roll through them. But I think because like I initially backpedaled into it, right? I didn't have enough momentum to shatter it. So it actually held me up. And then by the time I cleanly broke it, the two dogs had pinned me into the corner. So like from a hitbox, hurtbox standpoint, that one, it made sense, but it was still frustrating. Yeah, get fucked. Dude, he, th he thought he was gonna have a free attack on me as I did my like, oh, uh, and uh, my homie said, nah. All right, this is it. I'm tired of Ch Abernathy up here. Like I'm dealing with the sheriff in Texas. Ooh, look at that skull, that's creepy. All right, let me deal with the dogs first. Damn, that bench. Oh, but now he's ready to ambush.
Oh, we're Eiffel Towering him right now. Oh, speaking of the Ashes of War, you know, and some come with an Ashes of War built in. I like how some you can add one, and I have one called Golden Slam, where I jump up and I do a absolute Snorlax slam on him. Snorlax, slam! Summertime, one-eyed shield. Ooh, I was mentioning how cool this shield looked. Yo, this little run is giving me a good amount of runes, though. I think I'm already back up to 40 racks. Yeah, I think Colombia beat Argentina, though. They've been one of the best teams in world football in form. And so had Uruguay, which makes their win even more impressive. Hey, what's that little ledge? That looks tempting. Dude. Hey, ladies. May I grab this? Thank you. Giant's Prayer Book. Mm. I appreciate all y'all hanging out, by the way. Always means a lot. I never take it for granted. I always I know how much how many different forms of entertainment. There's TVs, there's movies, there's games. So any minute that someone spends in my stream, it really does mean a, a, the world because I think of all the other things that somebody could be watching. Um, where's this prayer book? This has to be it. We're getting hot. Here we go. Give to a learned cleric to acquire new incantations. Uh, it contains the secrets of the fire giants kept hidden by the prelates, prelates who monitor the giant's flame. Can be given to a learned cleric. I can get either take thee or flame fall upon them. I actually have a couple of these I need to go turn in. But it's one of those where like, if I'm not mistaken, sometimes if you turn in like one thing, you might not be able to turn in another. You like commit to one quest line or something. So that's always tricky. I'm always like nervous to turn shit in in games like that. Cause it's like, no, I don't know. Like, I don't want to ruin or uh, render a different storyline obsolete. I I also think that that's probably everything in here. Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Surely. They don't have these here for nothing, right? Maybe they do. Does he get bamboozled? I feel like there's a secret wall. I think you are okay turning in books. The only thing is who you turn it into in case they die. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, never mind. Um, so what you mean is it's almost always good to turn in books basically as soon as you get them because you would rather turn them in before they die and then you can't turn them in at all. Okay, we've cleared out this place. I used to have like a symbol. I can't remember what my system was, but like I would do something like um, Sights of Grace. Like I would mark this as a favorite. I don't think you can do that anymore, can you? Never mind. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I would mark them like this to indicate that I've beaten this area, but then that got a little too convoluted, so I stopped doing that. All right, now I can go upgrade. Turtle Pope is generally safe because unless you attack and kill him yourself, he is pretty constant. Turtle Pope. That sounds familiar. Now, it's been like two-ish years. Is that the guy that's like... He's in like a church somewhere up here in Laernia. Maybe this guy? Church of Inhibition? No, this one. Oh, there he is. That guy. Miriel, right? That's him. Turtle Pope. I'm going to go to him next. Turtle Pope, Turtle Pope, does whatever a Turtle Pope can. Blesses people, covers up crimes. Didn't mean to go me? dark on the Catholic Church Watch right there. Sorry, 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 sorry. All right, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I have enough gold. Am I missing something? 
Is there a ner another currency or not? Nah? Why are they? Why do they seem grayed out? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Somber, ancient, dragging, smithing stone. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Never mind. Never mind. Special ashes. Make them two. Ooh, we can take them up to three. Although, my boy here, I can also make him go up to. Oh, juicy dude. We can make him nine. No, we can make him eight. What's cool about these banished knights is they're essentially the type of enemies that I fight next to the commander. All right, I'm going to do them at least one more time. Boom. Damn. I actually got a lot of runes there. That was a huge come up. Mimic tier went from one to five. And he went from six to nine. We take those. Okay, she hold she lets me put my head in her lap and like cry myself to sleep and she like pats you and like there there child. There there tarnished. It's okay. That's what she does for you. Actually, maybe one of the most crucial NPCs in the game when I think about it. There there, sweet summer child. Greetings. It kind of looks like Vagar when Vagar doesn't want to take flight. Study sorcery. These are the only two things I'm missing, but I don't really love those. I don't need these. Give a scroll, give a prayer book. She has a secret quest about the miracle. the miracle. Kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. 